listen, let me say one thing. Let me say one thing. Um, the kanji book, there's two distribution channels for the kanji book. So the first one is very easy to get into. The second one takes time. Uh, once it gets into the second channel, which I've already I've already set it up, but it takes time. They have to send me a proof, I have to approve it. Uh, and actually use a little bit thinner paper, by the way. It'll be a little bit thinner book, it'll be more like that. Um, but that channel, that's how we get into book depository and a lot of other stores like uh, like uh, uh, Japan, like in the Japan Amazon, it shows up there. Uh, but it doesn't show up there until we get into that channel. Once we're in that channel, I would say give it about a week and it should be there in that channel. Unfortunately, I have no ability to easily change prices in that because they only let you change the price once a month. I can't afford to have the book be nineteen ninety five because it will sell. It will sell more even at the thirty four ninety five. But I'm going to try to match the other books uh, at twenty nine ninety five. And my instinct is to make it thirty four ninety five because that's the retail of all the other books. And this is a huge book. All right. Ooh, sweet. Hey, Onge, Onji, uh, put a picture. I want to see it. Uh, throw up a picture in uh, on our Facebook. One girl didn't. It looks right. She's like, you know how girls do that half face thing. It's really nice. All right. Uh, okay, let's do this. We are on second. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Japanese from Zero. I'm George Trombley, and this is Ask a Teacher, where we answer your questions about Japanese instead of talking about what I want to talk about, because that's boring. We're going to talk about topics directed by you, and what has happened is people in the live stream have submitted their questions on the website, on the Yes Japan website, not YouTube. They went into the chat room, and they clicked my name, and they sent me a PM, and then I chose the best questions, and we have four good ones today. Here we go. Akai Avi, Akai Avi, or Akai Avi, if you go either way. Uh, uh, what is the difference in usage between desho and desho and desne? Sorry, desho and desne. These are these are really good. This is a really good question, and when you're a beginner man, this is like confusing because Japanese people say them at what seems like the exact same moment. So let's look at it. So we've got this one, first one here. So desho, so desho. Okay. Now, the meaning of this changes depending on how it's said, right? If someone says something to you and you agree, you just say, so the show. Yeah, yeah, right? It's just like saying, yeah, right. But if you say, so the show, a little bit more, right? So the show, right? Yeah, right? A little bit more aggressive, right? But if you say, uh, so the show, ka, you make it a ka. Now it's like, is that so? So the show, so the show. So the show, now you're saying, right, right, it's a little bit different, right? That's what you can do with this show. You can change the tone of it, and then the meaning, the nuance of the sentence changes. Desne cannot do that. So desne just really means, I agree with you. That's it. So desne, yes. It, the, the, the ne, now, we, we talk about ne in the Japanese from Zero books as meaning like, huh? Or yeah, or making a rhetorical, like I guess it. Iku yo ne. You're going right. I could say so desu yo ne. Like that's it's th that is it right. It's true right. So desu yo ne. Like I say something and then I want to get confirmation from you. I go so desu yo ne. When you use ne at the end, you assume that the person you're talking to agrees with what you're saying. Right? They you agree so desu ne. You're agreeing with them, but if you're asking them a question with the ne. You're assuming that they agree with you, okay? All right. So so this ne? Yeah, that's right. They both in this case can mean so the show. Like, um, yeah, it looks like it's gonna rain, right? Looks like it's gonna rain. So the show, the show. It's gonna rain today. So the show. Yeah, probably. Now the show has to do with probability. So when you say so the show, it's like yeah, probably. It doesn't really mean that though. You know what I mean? When you're learning a language. There's a lot of slippage for what happens when you're going from one language to the other. But so the show is can be, yeah, probably, right? And by the way, there's also daro. Men can say daro, and sometimes girls do too. Daro and de show exact same thing. So daro, right? That's the case, right? So daro, like like you cheated on me, right? So daro, admit it. So daro, right? Right? So daro. You cheated on me. There's the desho. Desho. I think it and it's right, isn't it? Same thing. 
let's say that that someone else cheated, like uh, uh, Tanaka san's wife cheated on him, right? Tanaka san no Tanaka san no oksan wa waki shitan desu yo ne. They like he cheated on she cheated on the husband, right? Different, right? Waki shitan desho. Now I'm very I'm very certain of it now. I'm not I'm not uncertain. I'm very certain of it. Okay, it's a much more certain thing to say desho. Okay. You can even have desho ne. So desho ne. A little bit less certain, right? Hmm, yeah, it's probably the case. So desho ne. Yeah, probably. Like if I was doing subtitles on a movie and they said so desho ne, I would say yeah, probably. That's how I would translate it. All right. Now let's look at desho, kind of a different version of desho, because you'll hear this. You hear this on the weather report. They'll say, "Ashita wa ame ga furu desho." That just means it's going to rain tomorrow, probably. Pro probably, there's a probability of rain tomorrow, right? So it's it's very much more certain that well, tomorrow it's looking like rain. Okay, very probable. All right. Hopefully that gave you some insight. Uh, if you hear it, the meaning doesn't change so much that you have to worry about it. So desho, so desu ne, so desho, so desu ne. It's just agreeing with you in that case, okay? So you can feel free to say it. Just remember, the show is a little bit stronger in terms of the the probability of it, right? It's a more probable thing. All right. Next question is from Richard Official. Richard Official. He says, "Do you think you could specify the differences in nuance between niyotte, niojite, and shidai de, depending on?" Oh, now. Very, very, they all mean depending on, right? In various forms. So I had to bust out this bad boy right here and really dig deep into the differences because if I just heard them randomly, they all mean depending on. They really all mean depending on. But this is、uh, a book, I, it's pretty good. This book's really expensive.、Uh, I bought it at Kinu Kuriya, $50.45.、Uh, and the problem is, it's all 100% in Japanese. And I have similar books like this for Korean. Where、uh, it's all in Korean, it's for teachers that understand Japanese, teaching Japanese basically, or for people that are high-level Japanese that can understand the explanation. There is no holding back on their explanation. There, it's it's like they're explaining it to Japanese people. But this is the Nihongo Bunkei Jiten. <sighs> oh, do you hate it when a sneeze doesn't happen? Hang on.、Mm. It's the Japanese、um, sentence structure encyclopedia, and it really helped me understand the differences. Let's look at it. <clears throat> okay, so first one is niyotte. Hiton hiton niyotte kanai kata ga chigaimasu. So depending on the person, the way of thinking is different. So this is we're gonna I'm gonna this is depending on like a situation, right? Or depending on a person, the thing can change. So depending on a situation, keep that in mind. Depending on a situation, right? Anata shidai des. Anata shidai des. This means. Really, it's like saying it depends on you, but it's also it's up to you.、It、depends on what you do, okay? And this is immediate change based on personal choice, right? So, for example,、uh, am I going to go to jail, officer? Anata shidai desu yo. It all depends on what you you know you. Maybe he's going to help them bring in other criminals. Like your fate's in your own hands. Anata, your fate's in your own hands. Think about that way. Anata shidai desu, okay? And now this one's a very complicated sentence. It's buka no hendo ni ojite kuryo o ageru. Depending on the change in、uh, buka, 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 buka. cost of living, sorry. Depending on the change of in the the, ch the shift in change of living, we will raise salaries, right? If the cost of living gets more expensive, we're going to raise salaries. This is a strategy change based on uncontrollable factors. This one is something that is personal choice. This one is based on A or B person doing it or not. This one is based on a one person's personal choice, and this one is based on strategy. How are you going to change the strategy based on uncontrollable conditions? All right. For example, the weather, or、uh, the prices of commodities. It's a much more advanced form of it. Honestly, I'll be very honest with you. I use niyote for almost everything, because you can even say anata niyori mas yo, anata niyote kawari mas. Depending on you, it will change. Nuance-wise, you can get away with it. So you don't have to even use anata shidai. Although I will use shidai and I will use niyote a lot, but I use niyote literally maybe twenty times more than I use shidai.、Uh, if if I would say 
Out of these three grammar, what's the most important grammar? It's niyotte, because it can become nioru. Tomodachi nioru to. Niyotte, by the way, <clears throat> I need to do an entire show on niyotte because there's like five different things that niyotte does. Okay? They're all explained in here, by the way. We are going to do probably a hitokoto on niyotte, because niyotte, and hitokoto is where I break down one thing and I talk about what it can do. And I think eventually, I wrote it in my notes, we will do it one day. Uh, out of this, I would like you to remember one more very important phrase. It's bawai. It's written ba a i. It's baai, but it's read bawai. It's a really weird word. It's just hard to say baai. So the Japanese say bawai, even though it's read. It's written ba ba a i. Okay, but bai ni yotte. That means depending on the situation. Depending on the situation. Bai ni yotte wa. Well, depending on the situation, it really is almost like saying. It could be this or it could be that. Depends. Right? It depends on whatever happens, right? All right. Hopefully that helped. Uh, okay. Final question, I believe. I believe it's the final one. Mr. Keys says, I'm working my way through JFZ, Japanese from Zero, book three now, and I was wondering, do you have any kind of recommend, recommended watching list for shows and entertainment that I might understand at different book levels? I'm having a real tough, t a really tough time finding movies or shows that I can understand without English subtitles. But if I watch subtitles, I tend to tune out the Japanese LOL. You're not alone. Even I tune out the actual dialogue if I'm reading the English subtitles. You literally, it's almost impossible to focus on those two things. Reading is a different part of your brain than, than comprehension, okay? So, uh, what I'm gonna recommend is watch without subtitles, that's the first thing. If you're gonna watch something, just do it without subtitles. Watch it one through with subtitles so you get the story and watch it without the subtitles and focus on the language, okay? But I'm going to give you an even better recommendation. Watch a medium, listen to a medium that doesn't have a visual component. I'm going to recommend, uh, I recommended this the other day actually uh, in, a, in another podcast called Can I Actually Become Fluent? It was a Yes Japan, uh, a Japanese, sorry, daily that hasn't come out yet. But it's Renai Konkatsu no Senmonka Juri no Okay, it means true love or love, marriage, uh, she's a love and marriage consultant, a professional consultant, Judy, and the name of her show is Even a Beast Can Get a Beautiful Girl. Even a Beast, beast can, get, can Capture a Beauty. And this is a podcast, if you just look up the word Judy, just look up the word Judy in your podcast search, you should be able to find it. This is the entire name. Uh, if you just put Rengai, you'll probably get to it. If you look up Konkatsu, you'll get to it. All right. This is what it looked like. It's got this, currently it's got this background. This is an excellent podcast for practicing uh, comprehension. What she does is uh, a guy will submit a question to her, okay? And she's going to answer the question. Normally it's like I was on a date and this thing happened and I want to know what I did wrong or uh, how can I get a girl to do this because she knows girl's hearts but what's really great about it is her she has another guy that's on the show with him and he reads from the perspective of the guy what's really great is he plays the role exactly as if he had asked the question in, in i think that's what he's doing i don't know if that's what he planned but it sounds really great they're having conversation he's like so this thing is like ah so 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 ja ja and he asks follow-up questions based on that really love it <clears throat> please get it please get this podcast there are other podcasts that I have recommended on Facebook channel, uh, Polyglot George. Please subscribe to that or follow me on that uh, because um, I recommended some stuff there. And I do have a channel called Polyglot George where I talk a lot about stuff like this. Where we talk about uh, things that affect a learner of any language, not just Japanese. That is on YouTube, Polyglot George. All right, next question and final question because, man, am I out of voice. Give me one second. Woo! Mmm. All right, Marco90 says, can you explain how to use tiyuka and tiyuyori mo or tiyuyori, okay? Let's look at these. Tiyuka, oh my God, this is so, such a part of modern Japanese. Tiyuka, tiyuka, tiyuka. It wasn't this way a long time ago. This is a very, very modern thing to say. Tiyuka, right? Tiyuyori mo. Now, I looked these up, okay, to see what Japanese people were talking about. And they, this is rude. It's considered rude sometimes. It's not really anymore. 
but some people will consider it rude because what these do is they are going to negate what the person said. If you say it after someone, you're going to restate what they said and what you think it is. Okay. So it's like, oh yeah, well, but really, like actually, it's not actually, it's not that, but it's like, let's look at give you an example. Here's where I'm saying it myself. Okay. I am going to negate what I just said using, they both mean the same thing, by the way. They both mean, yeah, but, well, actually, but, okay. Let's say a girl says this. I don't like George. Well, really, if I, if I say it for true, the real thing is I hate him. I dislike him. I don't just not like him. I dislike him. Remember, kirai is stronger than skijanai. Skijanai is a nice way to say you don't like someone, right? I could say also, Okay? Let's go to another one. Here's a, this is rude. It's very rude what we're going to say. You always talk about it. You're always talking, aren't you? You know, when I think about it, you're, you're just bothersome. You're loud. Right? That's what that means. That There's a whole bunch of nuance behind tiuka, right? But it can be used in a non rude way it's like a sequitur it's like Tuka. it's like oh i was thinking about what you said and now, you know when, when you're talking to somebody they always are thinking about you're always thinking about what you want to say when someone else is talking this is the way to get your thing i go Tuka, well you know and then you say your thing right so maybe someone's saying uh you're you're like clarifying right? you, they say something you clarify it with your opinion is what you're doing or you're clarifying or making stronger the thing that you said and that's what that does all right well we really don't have any time we have none at all thank you for watching japanese from zero ask a teacher we'll see you all in the next the next one bye